A lot of one. And the National Guard especially do the uh, training, you know, one week in a month and two weeks a year. The, uh, the time frame for these National Guard soldiers to be able to train and get the, the gun time that they need to hone their skills and be proficient in marksmanship is not as, as much as you think they would be. So a competition like this gives them the ability to come, get a lot of gun time, uh, work on their skill craft, stalking, land nav, and uh, high elevation shooting, and that stuff that back at their home station they may not be able to accomplish. You know, we have four different countries that are here that, this year, and you know, they, they feel like it's good enough that they come over here as well. Stay proficient in your sniper task. Uh, even though you go to the sniper school doesn't mean that you're a fully qualified, skilled sniper. Yeah, you have the identifier, but you, uh, you're always continuing to learn. I think we're doing all right. It's our first time shooting a uh, actual, I guess, sniper competition. So kind of learning how to how to game the game and what what needs to be done. But I think we're doing all right for for first time around. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, very interesting. Talk to the guys that have done it before and uh, just learn how they've done things and what they're running. I think it's good. Uh, it's a different environment than I'm used to, and. Uh, it's good to come out and uh, meet the other guys. Go! The main thing is I just want us to be better than when we came. We always want to win. We're all alpha personalities here, all competitive, but the main thing is we can take anything we learned here back, we could all become better because of us being here. You're always continuing to learn and improve on those skills throughout your career. And this is a good opportunity to come to and hone those skills and try to see what you're proficient at and what you need to work on. <laughs> 